you know, going to WCW, you know, they tagged me with Johnny the Bull and um, they trusted me to teach him and guide him. And I became uh, world tag team champions in WCW when we beat our friend Crowbar and David Flair. Yeah, I was going to ask you, it was, did they explain to you your, your role there is going to be to take someone like Johnny the Bull and uh, get him up to speed? Pretty much, you know, because like at that time, Vince Russo was in charge and he's the one who suggested I come in. I said, J.J. Dillon signed me to my first pro contract. Um, and then it was Kevin Sullivan, who was the one who put the straps on us. He said, Vito, I'm gonna, you know, you earned it. Here's your chance. And uh, there I am walking out. I'm, you know, tag team champion of the world. And like, it was like a blink of an eye. And there I am. You run the network. You run the TV, right? It wasn't three months until I realized, holy crap, I'm in WCW. I'm tag team champ of the world. And at that time, you had DX going in WWE. So it was DX against the Mamelukes and the fame and the rivalry at that time with the Monday Night Wars. And then, you know, just having a great experience. And then they switched me to the hardcore division. And, um, you know, that was something that was I was very proud of. You know, um, they worked an angle where Johnny and I got the belt. They beat John, but I had to beat Funk. If I didn't beat Funk, it didn't mean anything because nobody beat him one-on-one -on -one legit. So it was Monday Night Nitro. I beat Funk fair and square. I pinned him, handed me the belt in the middle of the ring in front of two million plus people, shook my hand. It was like a passing of the torch. When we get to the ball that night, Everybody from Flair to Hogan to Luger to St everybody was in the bar. Me and Gene called me over. He said, Vito, come over here. He says, I want to congratulate you. Everybody raise your glass. Vito, tonight you arrived. Congratulations. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. You had a high-profile match with Kevin Nash, too, I remember, on, on uh, Nitro. Wrestling Kevin Nash, we were in a program with Chuck Palumbo and, you know, the, the New Blood. Um that was a great experience for me. I am the main event. And, um, you know, I wasn't put in that position because I was somebody's friend. I earned it. And uh, guys trusted me and I have was having great matches. And there I am wrestling the big sexy. And uh, how many people could say they suplexed the seven footer and you dropped his, you know, you dropped your arsenal on him and then you kick out of his finish. And that shocked everybody. Look, no way. No, he just didn't. No way. There was so many chiefs in the kitchen that it was hard to follow. And like, you know, they're pushing me, then they're taking me back. They put the tag team together, they're pushing me back. They start me in a singles run again, they're pushing me back. And like, I was on the cusp, on the cusp of being a major superstar in the business because I built my reputation up. And then when I lost the belt that night, um, the next, that Wednesday at the TV taping, because we taped for Saturdays, um, the ovation I got when I wrestled the artist was echoing and the, everybody was like, oh my God, dude, like they, nobody could believe it. The announcers, the boys in the back, they were just shocked because the whole place was echoing my name and my name wasn't Hogan or Goldberg. I mean, it was, you know, Vito. So it was a pretty awesome, pretty awesome time. Ultimately it was sold and there was a whole other story that is just... It should have just stayed the way it was, WCW on TBS, the Superstation. Some of us would still be wrestling on that place. You know what I mean? So it's it's sad that it disappeared. Were you there at the last Nitro? I was not there at the last Nitro, but I watched on TV. And um, it was just sad to see because I love that place and just everything about it. And you put your heart and soul into it. And you're like, okay, I mean, this run is over. Now where do you go? 